Hello, this is Jared from LearnToDroid.com. Today we'll have a tutorial on how to do branching and merging using Git and GitHub in Android Studio. I'll show you how to create a new branch in Android Studio and merge that branch all within Android Studio. I'll also show you how to raise a pull request via Android Studio for managing the merge that way. And I'll also show you how to use the git pull command to pull in the code changes made by other developers or within Android Studio. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll create a new GitHub project via Android Studio. I've done this in a previous video. If you want to check out that, it's in the description. I'll be going through this quite quickly. So we'll select start a new Android Studio project. We'll give it a name, Git Android Project. Next, we'll enable Git by selecting VCS, enable version control integration, selecting Git and selecting OK. We'll change into the project mode. And then we'll add all these files to the code repository with the git add command. Then we'll make a commit by selecting the Android project, selecting Git and selecting commit directory. We'll give this the name initial commit for the commit message and select the commit button. Select commit. Now that the commit has been made, we'll go into GitHub and we'll create a new GitHub project. I'll call it git android project and it'll be public. I'll select create repository. I'll retrieve this URL and use that in Android Studio to push the code to GitHub. I'll select VCS, Git, and push. I'll select define remote and add the URL and go OK. Then I'll select the push button. You may have to log in to do this. I'm already logged in with my GitHub credentials. So now if you have a look in GitHub, you should see that you've got your project in there. So next what we'll do is we'll create a local Git branch within Android Studio. We'll make some changes to that branch and then we'll merge it with the master branch in Android Studio. So to see which branch you're on, you can check in the bottom right hand corner here. You can see it says Git master, so we're on the master line. So we want to create a new branch to make some changes. So select the master option and select new branch and we'll add a new name for this branch. I'll call it add text view. And I'll set create. And uh, it will automatically check out that new branch that you've just created if you've selected that checkbox. So next we'll make some changes to this branch. So what I'll do is I'll add a text view to the layout. Linear layout. So you can see the two text views there. Okay, so next what I'll do is I'll need to commit the changes that I made to this branch. So I'll right click on Git Android Project, select Git, and select Commit Directory. So what I'll say in the commit message is I'll say I've added a new text view. And I'll select commit. And I'll select commit. So now I've made a new commit to this to this branch. So to change branches uh, back to the master line, what you can do is select edit uh, the add text view branch here and select master. And then select the checkout option. So now you're back on the master branch. So if you have a look in that layout file. You can see there's only one text view there at the moment. Make sure it is enabled. So next what you want to do is merge the branch you previously created into the master branch. Now we're currently on the master branch. So what we need to do is we need to select 
the branch at the bottom here and select the other branch you previously created. Select the arrow and then go to merge into current, which will take this branch and merge it into the current branch, which is the master branch. So now if you see the master branch here, it's got the two text views set up. Now we can publish these changes to GitHub by going VCS, Git and push. Okay, so if you have a look in GitHub, what you should see in the layout resource, you should see a new text view here has been added with that git commit. So next what we'll do, I'll show you how to merge a branch using Android Studio uh, by creating a pull request and then we'll approve the pull request on github.com and merge the changes that way. So to do this, um, we'll create the branch in the same way we did before. So select new branch, I'll just say add button. And on this branch, we'll just um, simply add a button. The button. Okay, so then we'll uh, make a git commit with this change. Add a button. Okay, so instead of doing the merge in Android Studio, instead what we'll do is we'll raise a pull request this time from Android Studio. Next, we'll make a pull request by selecting VCS, go into Git and select Create Pull Request. Make sure the base branch is master and select OK. So this will create the pull request via GitHub. So if you go into GitHub now, against this project. So if you refresh this, uh, you won't see the button in there yet. Okay, and you'll see a new pull request has been created. So we'll open that up. Okay, it's called added a button. And this contains one commit and that commit comprises of new button being added. So what we'll do is we'll merge this pull request via GitHub by selecting merge pull request and confirm merge. And uh, we won't need this uh, branch anymore so we can delete the old branch. So if you check in GitHub on the master branch, you'll see there's no more pull request that's been closed and you'll see a new button has been created. Now if we check that in Android Studio, we will go to the master branch, check it out. And at the moment, we can't see that new button there. We need to retrieve those changes from GitHub. So select VCS, Git, and do a pull. Okay, and now you can see that that button has been added. So that's it for today's tutorial on branching and merging with Git in Android Studio. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.